Hey, what is up guys? It is Rippin' Discs. Today we're going to be looking at different styles of putting. Let's get to it. In this video, we're going to be talking about the two main styles of putting people use and what they use them for. We're also going to talk about what is more beginner friendly, and then we're going to go into different styles of putting, terminology, and what you should be thinking when stepping up to a putt. We're going to be talking about the push putt first and why it's more beginner friendly. The push putt is basically, you're keeping your arms straight, you're just letting go of the disc, and letting go of it. So you're shaking hands with the basket, you're not trying to put any spin on it, and naturally it'll spin the disc. For a beginner, when you do miss, you're not going to go flying past the basket, and so you don't have a huge comeback, but instead, if you do miss, you're gonna be right by the basket, and then your comeback is going to be super easy, just a short little tap in. The positive thing about a push putt is that you're going to be very accurate within around 30 feet, so inside the circle, the negative thing is that it's very hard to get distance with a push putt. Spin putting is very, very popular with the pros. It is a kind of putt that allows you to get a lot of distance without maximum effort. Unlike the push putt where you come down and a big fluid motion, this is more of an in to your body and out to the basket. Just a straight line and flicking your wrist, putting spin on the disc, hence the name spin putt. One of the biggest differences is your wrist motion. Instead of just popping and going straight, you're gonna pop out to where you're putting a lot more spin on that disc. The positives about this putt is from distance, you can be very accurate and still have a lot of force going at the basket. The negatives are, if you miss, it's just about as far of a putt as you were before, making that comeback putt a lot more difficult for a beginner. With putting, there's two main stances. There's a staggered stance and then a straddle stance. It is very personal preference on what you like and what feels comfortable. It's very important to practice both of these because you will use them at different points. If you need to get around a tree with stretching, it's good to have a straddle putt. When inside the circle, it is technically called a putt and the outside of the circle is called a throw-in. And when you're inside the circle, you have to maintain balance with your feet, so you can't go past your disc. When outside of the circle, you're allowed to leave your disc after it has left your hand and go past the disc and not maintain balance. And so there's two main things. There's step putting and there's jump putting. And a jump putt, you're jumping off of the ground and releasing the disc at a certain point to get more distance and also be a little bit more accurate. A step putt, you're stepping past your disc, the disc releases out of your hand, and then you're taking a step after. It's important to practice these because you do not want to release the disc after you step or after you land from your jump and get a footfall. And so practice away from the course and bring it back because both of these styles are really important to have to get more distance and be very accurate outside of the circle. Putting, it is all about your mindset. So a comeback putt is probably one of the most important putts in the game because after you've missed your first putt, you wanna forget about it. And then on that comeback putt, be sure to be mentally tough and put it in the basket. Another cool putt that is a good utility putt to have is called the turbo putt. It is where you actually hold the disc up above your waist and throw it almost like a football where you're gonna let it flick off that pointer finger and spin at the basket. Some people will actually use this putt exclusively and they swear by it and love it. I personally like to use it when I'm in a situation where there's a tree in front of me or I'm not able to do my regular putt so I will throw over top at the basket. Some professionals like Kevin Jones love to throw the turbo putt on elevated baskets. That way they're not missing their angle and able to hit the basket perfect. When it comes to putting, it's really whatever feels comfortable to you. There's people who have a style that is very diehard spin putting, very diehard push putting, and then there's people who are very in between and like they just feel comfortable with something that's in the middle. So whatever feels comfortable to you, 
will work best. Just get out and practice your style. That is a quick look at putting and how different it can be for everybody else. So be sure to go practice and get what is comfortable for you. And also make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell notifications, and we will see you guys in the next one. Ripping Discs, we are out.